For Season 26, The Voice has introduced a new function known as the Coach's Replay button. How this works is if, following an audition, the coach believes they made a mistake, they can slam that button and offer that contestant a second chance. Though, you'd think with the name of the button, the performer would have to perform again. Nevertheless, each coach only has one opportunity to utilize it during the entirety of the blind auditions. As first seen on the first episode of the season, Reba Misentire regretted passing on a contestant, so she used her coach's replay button, and Kendall Eugene, who had no chair turns, suddenly was on Team Reba. With this new twist, the way the game of the voice is played has changed, but what is the best way to use it? Season 26 has brought a new burst of energy. With a pair of veteran coaches, Gwen Stefani and Reba Misentire, doing battle against rookies Michael Bublé and Snoop Dogg, the voice is in with the new but essentially the same. While season 25 had a double chair thanks to the arrival of Dan plus Shay as judges, this season's new gimmick is the coach's replay button. Despite the lack of fanfare, this new button offers something the show has never done before. Because a show running for 26 seasons needs to feel refreshing, the voice has been a revolving door of coaches season after season. When a new coach arrives and it's not enough, the show adds something special to sweeten the season. The introduction of the coach's replay button is something new and quite interesting. Essentially, this is the oopsie my bad button. But when it comes to utilizing it, does it only work on contestants who receive no chair turns? If you pass on a contestant who received a turn from another coach, what is the benefit of utilizing the coach's replay button? It would take a massive pitch or knowing that a specific contestant has a strong desire to be on your team for it to work in your favor. Essentially, this redo is for those who are about to walk off the show. Maybe their performance was okay, but there were no other chair turns, so you're not willing to risk it either. As seen during episode 2, Snoop Dogg didn't burn for Gale Bliss because he was waiting for Reba to turn first as he trusted her opinion. But then, following their chat, Snoop regretted not going with his gut. And thus, Gail Bliss doesn't receive a chair turn, but she ends up on the program. With that in mind, how does this button work for the coaches? It calls into question whether it is worth waiting until the very end of a performance for an artist you're on the fence about before you decide to turn normally or risk the coach's replay button. This could cause an artist on the brink of leaving to feel the nerves of ultimate rejection before their performance is up. For many artists who audition for The Voice is a dream. Should that dream be moments away from realization, a performance can suffer. So, who is the coach's replay button truly helping? Is it there just for something new? The coach replay button. One of the most talked about features in recent seasons of The Voice has become an absolute game changer for the show. It offers a unique and strategic twist, allowing coaches to literally rewind time, watch a performance again, and make a more informed decision on whether to turn their chair for a contestant. But as with any new feature, figuring out how to best use the replay button has become a skill in itself, transforming the way coaches approach the competition. In its essence, the coach replay button enhances a coach's ability to make smarter choices while adding a fresh layer of suspense to the show. This button is not just about a second chance at hearing a performance. It's about strategy, patience, and knowing when to seize the moment. For fans and aspiring coaches alike, the question remains, how exactly should coaches make the most of this powerful tool? Let's dive into how the replay button works, when and why coaches should use it, and how it can tilt the odds in their favor during the blind auditions. The coach replay button made its debut as part of a series of new twists designed to keep the voice fresh and unpredictable. In the original version of the show, Coaches had only one shot to listen to a blind audition, with no opportunity to go back and reassess. While this made for thrilling TV, it also meant that coaches occasionally missed out on contestants who might have grown on them with a second listen. Enter the replay button, which allows each coach to rewind and listen to a contestant's performance again, giving them a chance to reconsider their initial decision. Each coach only gets one replay button per season so they need to be careful about when and how they use it. It's a rare opportunity to undo a snap judgment and potentially snag a talented artist they initially overlooked. Using the replay button isn't just about hitting rewind, it's about psychology.
Every performance on The Voice comes with a whirlwind of emotions. Coaches sit, fingers hovering over their buttons, often knowing within the first few notes whether they're interested. The thrill of the live performance, the pressure to fill their team slots, and the urgency of the blind audition format all combine to create a high-stakes environment where a quick decision feels necessary. But what happens when a coach hesitates? Maybe the contestant's voice takes time to warm up, or perhaps the performance grows on them as it progresses. That's where the replay button becomes invaluable. Coaches can hit replay, go back to the beginning, and listen again with a clearer mind and a more patient ear. The replay button isn't just about reconsidering a contestant. It's about combating the biases that naturally creep in when making quick decisions. With a replay, a coach can step back from the emotional rush of the moment and take a more measured approach. Since the replay button can only be used once per season, knowing when to deploy it is crucial. Coaches need to balance their instinct with logic. Here are a few strategic moments when using the replay button could make or break a coach's team selection. Sometimes, a contestant's voice may not immediately grab a coach's attention, but it possesses subtle qualities that make it exceptional. Perhaps the singer's technique is flawless, or maybe there's an emotional nuance that a coach might have missed on the first listen. In these cases, the replay button allows the coach to slow down and catch the details that were overlooked in the initial rush. For example, during a Season 23 blind audition, there was a contestant whose opening notes were quiet and understated. None of the coaches turned, but one coach, after hitting the replay button, noticed the intricate control the singer had over their vibrato. This insight changed the coach's mind, and they pressed their button after replaying the performance, leading to a standout addition to their team. In the heat of a multi-chair turn, every coach is vying for the same contestant. When two or more coaches turn, there's always a chance that one coach regrets not turning, especially after hearing the enthusiastic response from their fellow coaches. The replay button can be a strategic move here, allowing a coach to revisit a performance and jump back into the fight. Imagine you're sitting in your chair, hearing another coach raving about how this contestant is the best they've heard all season. Suddenly, you're second-guessing yourself. In this scenario, Using the replay button gives you a chance to reevaluate whether you want to enter the fray. And if you do, you'll be armed with fresh arguments to sway the contestant to join your team. As the blind auditions progress, coaches become more selective as their team slots fill up. With fewer spaces left, every decision counts. Toward the end of the auditions, coaches might hold back on pressing their buttons because they're waiting for the perfect contestant. However, Passing on too many singers might leave them with an incomplete team or missing out on potential stars. In these moments, the replay button can serve as a safeguard. A coach can afford to be extra cautious, only pressing their button if they feel completely confident in a contestant's abilities. But if they find themselves hesitating on a singer who could round out their team, the replay button allows them to reconsider without missing out. The voice is an emotional roller coaster, both for the contestants and the coaches. Sometimes, a performance might be emotionally charged, leading the coach to make a hasty decision. Conversely, a coach might be distracted by something irrelevant. A singer's outfit, a quirky song choice, or even a personal bias, leading them to miss out on talent. The replay button gives coaches a chance to detach from their emotions and focus solely on the contestant's voice. In a particularly poignant audition during season 24, a contestant sang a deeply personal song that resonated with one of the coaches on an emotional level. The coach, teary-eyed, hesitated to press their button, unsure if they were reacting to the singer's story rather than their talent. By using the replay button, they were able to listen again with a clearer head and make a decision based purely on the performance. While the replay button is a powerful tool, it's not without its risks. Coaches need to be mindful of over-relying on it or using it in situations where it won't make much difference. Here are a few pitfalls to avoid. To contestant simply because they don't want to miss out. But indecision doesn't always mean a contestant deserves a spot on the team. If a coach finds themselves replaying performances too often or using it as a crutch for their uncertainty, they risk building a team of maze rather than standout artists. 